Hello guys and welcome back to the kitchen again with Chef Ricardo Cooking Show. It's amazing to be in the kitchen. Anyway, that is a Christmas cake, but this version is one of my version which I used before and I give you the recipe where you can try at home to do it. It's a step-by-step -step process making the Jamaican black rum fruit cake. Now, stay tuned in and watch the step-by-step -step recipe and I know you guys can do this at home. It's a simple, simple, basic recipe. This is just a basic recipe, but it's also it's a beautiful, fantastic recipe. So enjoy the recipe. Leave your comments in the description box and tell me what do you think about my recipe. I love you all. Stay tuned. My name is Chef Ricardo. I try my best to give you your recipe, what you like to make in your kitchen. Stay tuned and I will see you next time. Follow me on Instagram and my Facebook page, Chef Ricardo Cooking. Check out my website. I'm gonna walk you through it and I'm gonna be showing you how to do the cake. So this is what I'm gonna do. Sometime when I'm doing my cake, okay? I will get that tray like this. Alright. I'm gonna um cut off the paper. Right. So you want to just remove the paper. Like then what I do, what I intend to do sometime is this. Secondly, this is what I do. You don't have to do it my way. You can use a pen or a piece of paper and mark it out. I got another knife for I normally use, but I'm going to be using this one. I normally just cut it around like this. Alright, with my knife. Hopefully this one do it. You can use a pen and mark it around. Okay, so this. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna simple cut it around. I could do this first. All right, I could um, cut out the paper and think first, but I wanna, I wanna just show you from start to finish, that's one of my big thing I said to myself because I got a lot of people who are just like Chef Ricardo, oh my god, do the black cake, do the black cake. I didn't want to do the black cake this year because I got a lot of it on my YouTube channel with black cake. But you know, sometimes you got a lot of your cost, your, a lot of your your audience is like Chef Ricardo, do please do the black cake, please do the black cake, please do the black cake, and I decide to do it. So I say, okay, all right. Because I got fruit soaked from uh, about two years ago. But that's important for you to soak the fruits. Alright guys. You do not have to do the paperwork like what I'm doing it. It's just like I just want to show you techniques and tricks and bits and pieces. How to do your cake at home. Alright. Now, once you do that, then what you want to do, I'm gonna be using some unsalted butter. Alright, like this. So basically, you want the paper to fit in the tray perfectly like this. Okay, guys? Yeah, you want it to fit like this inside of the tray. So, what we're gonna do now is butter it by rubbing some butter inside of it. Okay? This is what you wanna do. The kitchen gonna be a little bit warm at the moment and all them thing there, but because I got the, the cooker on, so you want to make sure you have your cooker on, okay? So this is what you want to do. Butter it out. And then you want to place the grease proof paper inside of it like this, okay? Yeah. Like this and like this and like this. Very, very unique style for you guys. So these are things which is important for you to do. You see that? That's the grease proof paper inside of it. Okay? Now, as I say, a lot of people are making the Jamaican fruit cake and the naan do it right and a beer red flag have been seen from the other day. But I just because I don't want to talk much about it. You know what I mean? They are making cake and it look like chocolate cake. They are making cake and it look like <laughs> Lord of mercy. But anyway, bless them still. I'm gonna give you a recipe where you can follow. Put the tin aside. Now, this is where the magic and the trick come in, okay? And I'm gonna be using 
um, some unsalted butter very room temperature um, I, I prefer to do it by a cup for you guys to understand so if you got one of these measurement cup at home it's better for you to use one of these measurement cup and just measure it out so it's gonna be easy because a lot of people does not understand ounces a lot of people not understand gram a lot of people not understand um a lot of people not understand a lot of stuff and a lot of people are making the cake and they not even know how to read the scale that's the first thing so what you want to do to make your audience a little bit more happier and understand certain things is just using a measurement cup nothing wrong using a measurement cup okay when you use a measurement cup you can understand what you are doing now i'm gonna get my teaspoon and my tablespoon make sure i have them where is the other one i need to have this thing two things because they are important tablespoon and teaspoon all right here there is i got them okay i have them all right now I just want you guys to understand because I'm not going to be using a measurement scale. I have a scale, but I don't know where I put the scale. The scale is somewhere, but I just have to just do it this way. I'm going to be measuring out the butter and I'm going to be using a cup of butter. All right, just to measure it out for you guys to see. Okay, because this is important, guys. You know what I mean? So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm just like measuring it out like this, that you guys can see what i've been doing when i said i'm gonna be making a black rum fruit cake and i want you guys to make this at home all right don't worry yourself i'll be walking through it and show you 100 percent how to make the black fruit cake okay so once you get the butter all right get the butter from out of the because i'm not gonna make it a big cake i'm just gonna make a very tiny cake if you want to make a big one all you have to do is increase your um your ingredients okay so just to to make sure i'm just gonna put just a tiny little bit more of the butter on it okay just a tiny little bit more butter just to you know what i mean because sometimes the measurement you have to be careful with the measurement Alright, yeah, so that's the butter right there. Hope you guys can see what's going on. Alright, and I'm gonna walk it through it and I'm gonna show you. So I'm, I'm gonna use it by measurement by cup. That's the guys can do it at home. Now, it's two things. If you have one of these machines at home, it works really handy. If you don't have one of these, you don't have to stress yourself. You can use this. Okay, you can use a whisk and whisk it. So what I'm gonna do, first of all, I'm gonna soften up the butter. Just to make sure everything is working good. I'm gonna soften up the butter. So grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper, okay? One cup of butter and soften up the butter. That's what you want to do. You want to make sure soften up the butter. It's important for you to soften up the butter. Okay. Now, what I'm gonna do? Um, to be honest with you, I think I'll have some soft brown sugar. You know? I like this soft brown sugar. Really nice. Yeah, this soft brown sugar is amazing. I thought, oh, wow. I'm gonna get some sugar. Gonna be getting some soft, real good soft brown sugar. Okay, I'm gonna get one cup of soft brown sugar inside of it like this. Okay, nice one. Um, and I, I think I just have a little bit. I just gotta scrape this inside of it. It's just a little bit. It's just a little bit. I'm just gonna finish up the bag doesn't make sense I'm gonna save this for nothing all right now so you want to cream the butter and the sugar now together okay 
and I'm using some soft good brown sugar so cream both of them sorry guys cream both of them together like this okay take your time no rush no fuss all right because as I said a lot of people are making the Jamaican fruit cake and I'm telling you they are be a red flag straight away and a lot of people want to learn to do this so you want to take your time and a lot of people not spending the time to show you guys how to make the brown fruit the black Jamaican fruit cake so I'm here to show you now take your time and cream both of them together use a spatula and just scrape it in So just, just scrape it in really good, that means nothing nah, loose up and all them stuff there, alright? Let's put that aside. That's it guys, you can see. That's how it looks. lovely and nice look at that beautiful look at the the mixture wow that is lovely guys all right that is fantastic and an amazing let's put that aside okay and make the guys can see you saw that look nice so you wanna cream both of them the sugar and the butter together okay and they want to make sure it cream really lovely and nice so that's is set aside now what I'm gonna do let's put this one side for now I'm gonna go over here right over here so basically I got two four six eggs okay now the six egg I remove the eye from the egg to get away the rawness of the egg now what you want to do all right you want to zest a lemon inside of the egg all right like this or you can use lime but I'm using the lemon guys this recipe what I'm giving you is not even complicated it's just gonna be a very simple recipe just grab yourself a pen and a piece of paper I'm just showing you how to make it up and then I will explain how to bake it because I'm doing a live I'm not gonna be you know what I mean yeah um, but the recipe will be releasing on a proper video okay yeah here it is all right so I just let zest that lemon all right into it just like this with the egg now the thing is what you want to do I'm using six eggs so what you want to do you want to make sure that you had the eggs them one at a time do not bum rush it just take a little time and add the egg them one at a time just don't rush it too much take your time okay so we're gonna add one egg at a time okay so this is the first egg I just added and then what I'm gonna do I'm going to whisk in the egg take a time and just whisk in the egg
place is gonna get messed up. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna add in the next egg. We're gonna add another one. So that's number two eggs. All right. And then we're going to whisk this up as it goes on. You guys are gonna love this recipe when I finish with it. You're gonna say, wow, how comes no one did you show you this recipe? All right. So that's two egg. Um, we're gonna add another one. That's three. one and we're going to add another one so take your time and just add in the egg them one at a time okay you can't add the whole of them one time it's going to be a waste of time guys trust me nice one we're going to add another one Lovely. Nice one. Then we're going to add another egg lovely and nice so that's the last of the egg with the lemon zest okay put that aside one so what you want to do I just want you guys to get the recipe really good because this is a powerful recipe I'm sharing with you today use your spatula and scrape on it like this okay that means nothing doesn't up there all right and that looking good yeah that's looking perfectly now let's put that aside then because as I say, it's a step-by-step -step recipe I'm sharing with you today. Now, this is where the magic is coming in. And I'm gonna tell you something, guys. This is fantastic and an amazing recipe from Chef Ricardo Cooking, okay? Now, what we're gonna do, I'm already um, have some fruits ready, and I'm gonna be doing roughly about two cups of fruits right here, inside of this, right here, I got I measure out the, the fruits already, two cups of fruits. I already measure it out. All right, then I'm just gonna scrape this into the into my blender. All right. Now, what I'm gonna do, this is the fruits which I've been soaking over the last two and a half years. I've been soaking the fruits, all right? So, it's a powerful recipe right here. I'm sharing with you. Now, what I'm gonna do is, all right, I'm gonna show you. What I'm gonna do now is blend this up, okay? If you got cherries, add all of your fruits them together, I'm gonna blend this up. 
So that's why I say it's a process by taking our time, step by step recipe, all right? And that one of that is such a beautiful recipe and I know you guys will love it. That's why I said to you, you have to have a pen and a piece of paper to write all these ingredients, all right? So right now I have two cups of fruits and I'm gonna blend this up. All right, let's make a little bit of noise, okay? What I did with the recipe, I did not blend it too long, like you wanna blend it out. So I just make it turn into a, like a like a puree, like a puree, like a um, you know, just like a puree. But look, that's that's the way I I want it to be look like. Okay, just like this, as you can see it for yourself. All right, and that's looking really good. Trust me, guys, that is beautiful. Now, that's the fruits I just blend. Really lovely and nice. Okay. So what we're gonna do, let's put the fruits aside. For now, that's the fruits as ready. So the next step is, all right? Hold on the first guys, don't tell me that. Where it is? Uh, uh, um, I'm using this one, that's why. Okay, so what I need to do, I need to switch this around. All right, I'm gonna switch this around. All right, and I'm gonna be using, and because I needed to do my dry ingredients. <laughs> I need to do my dry ingredients. So I need to use this bowl. So all I have to do is just. Guys, I got a lot of baking recipe which I can share with you, man. Like, some serious baking recipe where, you know what I mean? I can really share with you. So we're gonna get this together. And now, you do not have to sieve it, you know, but it's just option. All right, so we're gonna get some plain flour. Some people use baking flour, but I'm gonna be using plain flour, okay? And I'm gonna be measuring out. This is one cup of flour, right here, okay? Normally, the flour, the sugar, and the butter must be on one level. Do not try to, you know what I mean? But what we're gonna do, because sometimes you may need a little bit, but you don't have to. Or just a little bit more, I'm just gonna add to it. Just a tiny little bit more flour, I'm gonna add to it. So the flour, the butter, the sugar must be together. Only the fruits, you're gonna put a little bit of extra fruits, okay? That's why I use two cups. Of fruits, all right. So butter, sugar, flour, everything have to be on a level. Now, what I'm gonna do? I'm going to go into it with some um, real authentic Jamaican. You know what I mean? It's not the egg and stuff right now, okay? So I'm gonna get a tea, a table, a teaspoon. I'm gonna get one teaspoon of not the egg. Let's put a little bit more. Cause we're gonna sieve it, okay? This is Jamaican, not the egg I'm using. Then we're gonna be getting some mixed spice. All right, we're gonna put roughly about one teaspoon of mixed spice inside of it. All right, authentic. Then we're gonna go into it with some um, cinnamon powder, which is a must. One teaspoon of cinnamon powder. Let's put a little bit more inside of it. All right, lovely. Then we're going to go into it with some, where's my baking powder? I have to have some baking powder inside of that guys cause you know the baking powder is, is important, okay? You have to have baking powder, all right? Oh, yeah. So we're gonna go into it with some baking powder and I'm gonna be using teaspoon, yeah, baking powder. One, this is one teaspoon of baking powder write it down one teaspoon and another teaspoon of baking powder roughly about two and quarter teaspoon of baking powder we're gonna be using because it need it we're gonna put quarter teaspoon of baking powder in it now baking powder yeah you have to make sure baking powder because you need the baking powder in it guys it's a must all right 
Then we're gonna put a pinch of salt, roughly about half teaspoon of salt. All right, sorry, half teaspoon of salt. I'm using half teaspoon of salt in it. Okay. All right. Now run it through your sieve like this. You don't have to sieve it, to be honest with you. But you know what I mean. I like I like to sieve it because it just come out a little bit much. You know what I mean? Yeah. Better and nice. So once you sieve it, you know what I mean. This is what gonna left on it. This little bit. So you don't need that. Okay, fantastic and amazing. Now, nice one. Now, the thing is, let's get back to our wet ingredients. Okay, the wet ingredients are gonna be needing some vanilla inside of it. I'm gonna be using a tablespoon of vanilla essence inside of it, okay? Yeah. Um, I got this vanilla, because that was the last. I got this vanilla. Which I'm gonna be using. This is a new company. I'm gonna add some more to it. Some more vanilla. I'm using a tablespoon, so I just add a large tablespoon of vanilla. Alright, this is a new company. Vanilla I'm been using. Very, very good company, to be honest. Yeah, their product is excellent. Alright. Let's put that one side. So we got like almond. We got almond water, we're gonna put some of that inside of it and we're gonna be using like the teaspoon. It's going to the teaspoon, all right? One teaspoon of almond inside of it, okay? That's gonna bring in a lovely flavor. Oh man, similar that. Ah, wow, that is beautiful. All right, that is fantastic. Now, this is, we're gonna put, this is some um, lemon. You know what I mean? Like lemon, slice lemon, <laughs> like a lemon zest. We're gonna put a little bit, one teaspoon inside of it. You don't have to put the lemon one inside of it, okay? Nice one. Now, we got all of those lovely, beautiful spices inside of it. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna whisk it in for a bit, okay? this thing too much you know now so you see things looking good guys i don't know if you guys can understand what's going on as you see the ingredients is a straightforward ingredients i'm sharing with you now what we're gonna do we're going to add the fruits to this mixture the wet ingredients all right then we're gonna try we're gonna add a little bit at a time okay and then i'm just gonna use this, this spatula and just whisk it in okay Whisk it in like this and like this, all right? Then we're gonna get the rest and just scrape it in, all right? So I'm using two cups of blending fruits inside of it. But let me tell you something, because the only reason why I did the recipe because I saw a lot of people making the recipe and they're making it wrong. You know what I mean? The cake look like, um, what do you call it? When you go to the, the supermarket and you buy a chocolate cake, all right? That's why I said to myself, no, I need to curry up this man. Because, you know what I mean? Chef Ricard have been doing this for a long time. All right? Nice one. Just gonna just mix in this like this. Beautiful recipe for you guys to make this Christmas if you wanna make it. Cause it's never too late to make black fruit cake. You can make it all tomorrow night tonight anytime so and i can tell when you're making the cake you can see look at that that's how you want it to look like okay and that's looking good all right now this is finished right that's looking good what else i need to put inside of it because i have to make sure i have everything you know you can put all 
some people put crackers in it some people put flo um breadcrumbs in it but we're just gonna stick to what going on right here so at the moment okay now we're going to add the flour which is important okay this is the flour we just did now i'm just gonna simply scrape it in bit by bit okay and take time mix it in all right with my spatula right here okay let's take your time and just whisk it in like this all right remember i told you guys you have to um get the oven preheated first okay that's very important all right the oven have to be preheated and ready okay So I'm just using a spatula and just mix it in, all right? Now, I'm gonna get some more of the flour and I'm gonna add it to it, okay? And take your time and just mix it in. All right? You can use your whisk if you want or whatever make you happy. Or whatever you have because sometimes some people doesn't have these things at their home you know what i mean and just they love to make a cake or do something at home but they don't have certain kind of ingredients to work with you understand so don't worry yourself it can be done same way all right but look at that you saw that look nice yeah and that's what we're talking about take your time and mix in that beautiful mixture now we're gonna have the rest of the flour okay now, this is a top recipe, you know, man. This is not like a recipe to play amongst with. Take the time and just whisk it in like this. Okay? And I said to myself, I just want to share the recipe with you guys. Okay? Now, let's take your time and fold it in. And fold it in. Alright? Now, you could add some more rum. Are more red label wine the reason why i didn't add any more rum and no more red label wine the fruits have a lot of rum and are lots of red label wine in it so you know what i mean it's good to be honest with you trust me it's proper you don't have to add any more some people had it but i don't have to. you don't have to if you option so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna just whisk in this now So basically, you're gonna get a nice, lovely, soft moisture cake. Not something where, you know what I mean? I'm telling you, you're gonna see it when it's finished. Now, it's, this is a browning. I'm, I, I was trying to get the next browning, the, the Jamaican original browning, but I couldn't get that one. So I just have to use what I have, okay? If you can get the original Jamaican food browning, I guarantee that one will be much better for you, all right? so. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna um um hold on the first, let me see what I go on that song because my recipe is a eating recipe you know <laughs> it's not a recipe to play around with guys trust me it's a long time recipe this um let me see the food browning we're gonna be using um we're gonna measure the food browning now the, the, the browning now the brown color bit have to be very very important all right and to be honest with you all right i use two and quarter teaspoon of food bro um baking powder all right so the browning one on the first where where i put my browning i want to use this browning but just a minute um using tablespoon i prefer use this browning man i don't like this one but i'm gonna use this one okay so 
two things you can either get your food cake really dark 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 if you want it or you can get it like you know what i mean um a nice color where you're gonna enjoy your cake okay so that's i just want to make sure i'm gonna give you the right measurement and baking powder wait wait wait, wait. baking powder and um so all right what i'm gonna do i'm gonna be using a tablespoon because this browning i'm just reading up on this browning it's not like i don't want teaspoon all right this is not like the real authentic browning so i'm gonna be using a teaspoon okay so we're gonna go in it right now with a teaspoon of food browning and then we're gonna go with another teaspoon so let's use two teaspoons first inside of it okay and see where we are because this is not the one i want to use now we're just gonna just whisk this in one now a lot of people might have said oh yeah it look that kind of way you do not want it too thick and you do not want it too runny you want it right there okay so basically I put two teaspoon of dark browning inside of it so what I'm gonna do I'm kind of have my eye on it and I'm watching it all right but what I'm gonna do now I'm going to going to eat with um roughly about another teaspoon so roughly about three teaspoon but i do not want it too black and that's what i'm running from you know what i mean so um i'm gonna put in another teaspoon inside of it i just wanted to have that let's put a little bit more so that's gonna be three teaspoon and a little bit more inside of it all right that's it right there we're not gonna add any more but to be honest with you, I do not want it too black. one I like that color that color is really really nice it's beautiful color so when you go in the oven I do not want it to black 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 I don't like it when it's so black I like it have a nice color where I can enjoy the cake you know what I mean yeah but that looking good to be honest with you guys and as you can see for yourself that's the Jamaican black rum fruit cake right there okay if you want the cake to be black you could add another tablespoon to it but I don't I do not want it really black black i don't like it that way and i love it does have a nice color all right now as you can see that's the real authentic jamaican cake and to be honest with you you can see it for yourself look at that and you can tell when your cake is perfect okay it's not too runny and it's not too um thick because when it's too thick you have to be careful with like rubber when you cook it and that's why a lot of people doesn't know you know what i mean and they have a lot of fruits in it and it's just a small cake it's not a large cake it's a very very small cake now this is the tray and it's an eight inches tray and i'm gonna pour this inside of it like this okay and we're going to bake this for roughly about two hours all right and as i say if you want your cake to be dark as i say you can add a lot more browning inside of it but i don't like my one too too dark i like my one just like perfect brownish color like what I'm looking right here. Hopefully it's not too dark. Now you have to have the measurement right, guys. The measurement is the key. Now, so that, that's looking good right there, to be honest with you. Now, what you want to do is just take your time and 
put it like this okay and take some of the ear out of the cake okay this is going to be baking probably roughly about two and a half hours it will take to bake um at the moment i preheat in my oven at the moment and it's on what 175 i have it at the moment 175 so that looking good 175 looking really good 175 to 180 if you're using gas mark you're gonna look at the gas mark probably six from seven to eight if you're using electric oven i'm using electric so i have my one and a hundred and probably 80 at the moment preheat your oven first then what you want to do you want to get a tray with some water and put it at the bottom of your oven to keep your oven on a certain kind of temperature that it doesn't dry out your cake and your cake does taste really like you know what i mean so what you want to do i should have one of these tray yeah i have a tray perfect um so yeah what i'm gonna i'm gonna use one of these one yeah so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna fill this of water and i'm gonna put this in the oven with the water inside of it okay and i'm gonna be baking the cake for roughly two hours and then i'm gonna look at it do not open your oven every minute because you're baking the cake and that's gonna just you know what i mean ruin the cake you just want to leave it for roughly two hours go to go to one hour to two two hours at least after two hours then you check your cake if not you give it another couple of more minutes put it on in and see how it's there and then you give it a couple more minutes okay so get yourself a little tray like this fill it with some water okay you want to fill it with some water and put it in the oven and it just hold the temperature of the oven and that's the secret and that's why a lot of people doesn't know when you're baking this kind of cake it's good to have some water into a tray like this in your oven in the middle then the bottom of the oven and it will hold the temperature of the oven cool it down and that's your cake doesn't burn and look herbal okay so that's the secret that's the tip if you like my jamaican black rum fruit cake recipe trust me it is an amazing recipe i give you guys and this recipe you know what i mean is a million dollar recipe i'm giving it right now very easy and simple to make no stress no worry yourself take it easy you can do this at home all you have to do next is do a thing like this at home okay take some of the ear out of the cake now i'm gonna bake this cake a lot of people might have said oh it looks like that kind of you do not want your cake too thick when you mix in the mixture and you just want that perfect mixture all right now let's chop this in the oven i'm gonna close the show um get me on part two when i take it from the oven put some rum in it and all them stuff there it's gonna be fantastic and amazing all right and as i say you can add some rum during it when you're making it but i didn't want to add any more rum to it because i got a lot of rum inside of the the fruits okay make i show you the kind of fruits which i have been using this is the fruits which i've been soaking over the last two and a half years so as you can see there's a lot of rum so many rum i put in this cake so it's good to go and when you're doing this kind of cake sometimes you put add like rum to it you may split it up and all them stuff so you just have to be careful so that's it right here guys if you like the recipe leave a comment this is part one look out for part two when i'm taking from the oven and make you guys gonna see or part two do okay enjoy the recipe leave your comments in the description box if you like the recipe if you don't like the recipe leave your comments and tell a friend and a friend tell a friend i'm gonna close the show and i really appreciate every one of you guys for watching this and an amazing episode we got a lot more recipes coming and a lot more ideas okay so enjoy yourself have a beautiful day and that's the recipe from chef ricardo today and you can make this at home trust me it's not gonna be complicated it's not all you're gonna have to do now is put in your oven and bake it that's it stay tuned for more tips from chef ricardo all right yeah okay guys nice one so basically i take the cake from the oven okay i got a little bit of burn on this not burn i really said burn you know what i mean a little bit of darkness over this side but to be honest with you it's pretty good so what i'm gonna do okay i'm gonna do this to show you guys what you need to do next okay so you want to get some good jamaican white rum and red label wine so this is a red label wine okay and this is some jamaican white rum 
right? We'll put rough about four tablespoons on it. Okay. Once you mix that together, get your cake. All right. And pour that white rum and red little wine. All right. Leave that for it to soak. All right. See that? Look at that. Leave that for it to soak into the cake. All right. This is one of the best way you could ever do your cake at home. Now, when it soak, what I'm gonna do, I'm going to open this cake and I'm gonna slice it for you and make you guys can see, all right? So that's the best way to do your cake when you make it. As you can see, that's it right there. That looking fantastic and amazing, all right? Beautiful recipe and I would encourage you, try my recipe and see if you like it, all right? So once you wrap up your cake, you are good to go. Leave that for 24 hours and leave it for it to soak. This is an amazing recipe for you to try at home. Stay tuned for more tips to chef for kind of cooking. Jamaican black rum fruit cake with a twist in it is amazing, fantastic. The flavor, the texture is so lovely, guys. All right. So if you even get this underscore acting like this, as you can see, cake is firm and nice. All right. Yeah. So. Just to make sure some of this liquid just go down inside of the cake. amazing and fantastic so just leave it for it to soak it will just soak right straight to it and that liquid will just go all right beautiful recipe enjoy it